Hi, the very first topic today we are going to start with is elastic constant and in here we will require to know the how the material properties are varying and what are the desirable properties we need to have in such of uh, designing different different component uh, those are the engineering components we design and uh, depending upon the load acting and depending upon the functionality we require different different uh, property like in that case of uh, uh, your uh, cast iron we actually uh, use as a machine tool bed why we use actually because in that particular case a machine tool blade uh, machine tool bed it uh, gets subjected to enormous amount of compressive stress the whole load of that particular lathe comes on that particular bed so what happens we require a, a, a particular property that is high compressive stress so so uh, high compressive stress generated so the uh, ductile materials cannot bear that so we need brittle material so brittle material will be very strong in compression and weak in tension so what happens we use actually cast iron as the machine tool bed so next uh, we require to know the what is the what is the property that is homogeneity that is a uh, non homogeneity like isotropy and isotropy homogeneous that is at uh, every point you go uh, along a direction the elastic constant values will be same so similarly like like uh, non homogeneity what is the non homogeneity like uh, you will be switching to uh, like uh, another point from a particular point you will be getting different property of elastic constants and actually what happens uh, similarly like isotropic uh, what is the isotropy like isotropic property is like uh, at a particular point if you go uh, along different directions so, so the elastic constant will be the same so isotropic material so in that case of anisotropic material if you go along different different directions so the property of uh, like elastic property will be different like, so that is called uh, uh, anisotropy and isotropy so homogeneous and isotropy so you will be switching from one point to another point inside a body inside a component and in that particular point you will be switching from one direction to another direction but you will be having at every point the same properties okay so that is called isotropic and homogeneous so what is isotropic and non-homogeneous like uh, at different point okay you will be getting different value but at different point when you are looking at different direction but different direction will be showing you the same value of elastic constant so that is your uh, isotropy and uh, non-homogeneity like uh, in that way anisotropic material and uh, non-homogeneous material you can distinguish the like different property along different point and different direction will be having different uh, elastic constant value so this is the determination of that particular uh, elastic uh, properties again actually in that gate exam what is asked actually in this, this particular chapter uh, what are the number of independent elastic constant in that case your or uh, an isotropic material so that will be your 21 so in that case of uh, isotropic and homogeneous material that will be your only two so for that uh, isotropic and homogeneous material the number of elastic constants are two with uh, that means uh, e mu k and g that is your uh, young's modulus that is your bulk modulus okay mu is your uh, poison ratio and uh, uh, like your G is your rigidity modulus so among four if you know any two of these so you can find out the others so that means so we need to find out the relations if we find out the relation between E and G the relation will be E is equal to 2G into 1 plus mu similarly if we find out the relation between E and K so what will be E is equal to 3K into 1 minus 2 mu similarly we'll be having the value actually we uh, determine from uh, tension test uh, stress strain diagram actually we define uh, the value of E so the slope of that particular stress strain curve will be giving the value of elastic constant that is Young's modulus for a particular component so actually what we uh, do we do tension test and from that we plot 
load versus uh, load versus deformation curve and we actually do what we actually find out by uh, dividing the load or uh, with area and similarly the uh, elongation with that uh, original length okay so we will be getting sigma versus epsilon stress versus st strain and uh, diagram so plotting this uh, we will be able to know what is the amount of uh, elastic uh, constant value that is young's modulus for a particular component so depending upon the application we can find out the value of g mu and k okay so uh, we will be uh, having that particular idea of this particular thing and after that we will be able to switch to the next chapter and all those formula are detailed uh, will be shown in that particular video so you require to remember this formula only nothing else so that's all for this particular topic